Hey Gavin here, it is freezing out here. Well that's not going to stop me, I'm going to get out here and do a good workout, so hopefully you're going to join me, and we're going to get the lungs blowing a little bit. So we're going to go mainly cardio today, alright? 50 seconds of work, 10 seconds rest. Our first one is jumping jack, so let's get it moving. Hands up over the head. As you can see, I've got my gloves on because it is that cold. But hopefully going to warm up pretty soon. Now, first few exercises, kind of warm up. So we're not looking to go full pelt. But let's get the body moving. Loosen up the joints. And let's see what we can do. All right, 20 more seconds here. So far, so good. I right, said so we've got 10 seconds rest. Not enough time to transition into the next exercise. Grab a sip of water if you need to. Two, one, and relax. All right, so mountain climbers coming up. Got my mat ready. Here we go. All right, in and out. So decent pace. Shoulders just over the hands. Control the breathing. Now on any of these exercises that we're about to do, if you feel that you're struggling and you need to stop, that's absolutely fine. What I say is give yourself five seconds. You know, three to five seconds, count that down in your head and then get back with it. So there might be a few dicey moments where you're struggling, I'm sure there will be for me as well. Eight seconds left here. Get these mountain climbers out of the way, early doors. Two, and one. Up we go. All right, next up, high knees. Give myself a bit of space. All right, if you can't do the high knees, maybe you're a little bit top heavy, something like that, then a march on the spot is absolutely fine. So you can get a good pace like that. Ideally, this is what we're looking for. Bring those knees up around the waist height if you can manage that. Arms moving as well. Good stuff so far. Come on, keep those legs going. Lift them up. Lean into it slightly. 10 seconds to go. Four, three, two, and one. All right, next up, full body extensions. Mrs. W is giving me some stick. I've just got mud all over the floor in the house. So she's telling me off. <laughs> full body extensions, looks like this. Whip it up. So that ski jump position, which we're going to start with here. Arms come up, toes reach up high, swing them back down. It's all go today. We've got a chopper going overhead. Come on. Keep it moving. Good pace. Chop is actually quite low, so it's probably going over. Wondering what the hell I'm doing. Three, two, and one. Relax. All right, warrior jumps up. Feet together, hands overhead. I'm gonna drop down into this position. Okay, here we go. Squat position at the bottom. Show you from the side. We're here, down in that squat. Get your butt down low. So, not quite a full squat, about a half squat. Go, go, go. Say, so give me a wave as you come back up. Smile. Let's try and speed it up a little bit now. Should be starting to feel a little bit warm. Come on. 
back straight. Always keep that back in good shape. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, next up we have side burpees. I'm gonna knock this mat forward a touch. All right, hands down to the side, flip your legs out, kind of a side plank is what you're looking for. So showing slow-mo. So here, hop, back in, up tall, clap, back down the other side. Now you can do it this way as well. Hands come down, walk it out, little pause there, walk back in. Don't even need to jump if you don't want to, if you can't manage it. All right, well let's get it on now. Pick up the pace. So make sure your feet aren't going backwards, but more out to the side. Eight seconds to go. And relax. All right, leg burner. We're gonna do the lunge squat combo. It looks like this. Always start down low. You're here, spring up, down, lunge, lunge, squat, jump, squat, lunge, lunge. That's the position we're looking for, okay? If you're struggling with that, if you can't do that, what I want you to do is this instead. So, squat, lunge, lunge, squat, lunge, lunge, okay? That's the routine, that's the drill. All right, otherwise you're with me. Hop and drop. Try and get low in your squat position. We're nearly there. And relax. All right, next, step and thrust. Okay, looks like this. Start in a sprint, start position. So we're down here. You're gonna step forward, knee comes up, back in that sprint position. Okay, I'm gonna do half one side, half the other. Bang. See, we're gonna pick up the pace. Change side now. So we're here. Hands touch the ground. So bringing the knee up there, give it some oomph. 10 seconds to go. All right, easy one coming up, stance jacks. So stance jacks, and these ones straight from the side first. Now it's not a squat, see the butt stays high, back straight, feet come to the middle, hop down and reach. That's what we're looking for, but make sure that you keep your back straight. All right, let's do this. Feet in and out, let's get a bit of pace going. And if you're struggling with this one, what you can do instead, step, step, you're stepping across. Okay, makes it a little bit easier a little bit less of an impact on the board. 10 seconds to go here. Four, three, two, and one. All right, good old burpees next up. Bring my mat out. Okay. I'm gonna kick it there. All right, walk out version first if you want to, if you need it. So down to the ground, back up, clap. You can make it easier if you put your hands on a chair or a table, something like that. Full version, this is what we're looking for right now. Let's get up there. Fifteen seconds to go. Uh, 
No more. Four, three, two, one. Ah, all right. Switch kicks, it's been a while since I've done these. And they're not fun. They might take me a few seconds to get the coordination right. All right, so start with one foot up and you're actually gonna kick the standing leg. Like that. So I'll slow it down for you again. Start with one foot off the ground. And you're gonna hop, kick the standing leg, this leg here, up. Okay, see if you can manage that. It's a tough one. If you can't do this one, just have some kicks. Like so, all right? Make sure you lean into it slightly. Get your abs engaged as well. Reminds me of the crack kid. Relax. All right. Seem like a good idea putting these in. Tuck jumps. Now if you struggle with the tuck jumps, I just want you to do some jumps, all right? Not necessarily bring your knees up. So if you're just jumping, get up high, like so. Okay, get as much height as you can. Otherwise, tuck jumps bring those knees up. And this is what we're looking for. As many reps as you can string together. Oh, that's pretty poor of me, that. <sighs> All right, a little countdown. Two, one, let's go. Come on, we can do this. 10 seconds to go. Big effort. <sighs> and here we go. Last, last exercise. And we've got lateral slides. So whipping it from one side of the floor to the other. It's certainly warm now. Reaching down. If you've got the flexibility, you can touch the ground. But only if you can keep your back straight. So you, you want to keep your head up. A couple of steps and go. Come on. Uh, legs are drained. 20 seconds left. Go, go, go. Come on. Six seconds. Big finish. Two. And one. All right, there we go. Great effort there. Deep breaths. Ah. Grab some water. And in a moment, we sort of stretch. Good job there. Ah. Certainly got the lungs going. Now, while you're doing that, I'm hoping that you pushed yourself. What I'm looking for, on a scale of one to 10, 10 is your mission impossible, okay? I'm not necessarily looking for a 10. I'm looking for around the seven, eight, perhaps on some of the exercises edging towards a nine, which you're never really going for that 10, not quite there. That sort of thing when you've been sick and stuff like that. And we don't want that. Okay, I want to make sure you survive these workouts and then actually want to do them. All right, so let's stretch. Feet nice and wide, reach down towards the ground, push your heels down, lift your butt up high, I'm gonna bring my feet together. Try and get a better stretch out of that. So stretching out the hamstrings, back of the thighs. Step across the side. And the other way. My lungs are just about recovered. Hip flexors, Ooh, get my balance. Push your hips forward, a little lean across. A 
and the other way around. Whew. Quads, last one. Kick your foot up. Now keep your knees together and push your hips forward. So knees should be pretty much touching and push those hips forward a touch. One more time. Sit, hips forward again, knees together. And there you have it. So a good cardio blast there, got the lungs working. I certainly felt that, I'm still a little bit out of breath myself. So, hope you enjoyed that one. Any questions, comments, let me know. Otherwise, I shall see you next time. Bye-bye for now.